All right, hello and welcome to today's topic for RedCap training topics. Uh, today's topic will be double data entry. And let's go ahead and take a look at our project. All right, and what exactly is the double data entry model? Well, um, as a preventive measure, uh, RedCap prevents users from entering duplicate records. Uh, some projects may need to enter data twice and uh, uh, the business need for this is to ensure uh, quality data collection by um, comparing the records. And to enable this da double data entry module, uh, we would require a RedCap administrator. And to do this, you can contact your RedCap administrator by clicking on the RedCap administrator button and be sure to mention your project name that you would like to enable the double data entry for. And how exactly do we set up the double data entry after that is enabled? Uh, to do this, you would go into your user rights. Let's say, for example, we would like to set up um, a data entry person 1 and a data entry person 2. Let's go into our user rights to do that. Let's say, for example, RedCap is a normal user. And as you can see on the left side, we have that pulled up as well for RedCap. Well, let's just call them red for now, just to not be as confusing, and it, it will be just our normal user for now. And Chippy is the um, RedCap administrator for now. And let's go ahead and sign RedCap as our user one. All right. And once double data entry is enabled for your project, you would go into the double data entry. Uh, under other privileges, you can assign a reviewer, uh, person number one, which is the data entry person number one, person number two, which is data entry person number two. And then once you um, enable a person number one and a person number two, um, you, they can start entering data independently. And they will also be allowed to create uh, any duplicate records. But they will not be able to access each other's data and only the normal users or reviewers uh, will be able to see all three copies of the data and we'll go ahead and show that as well and once each uh, designated data entry person has created an instance of the same record uh, both instances can then be uh, compared side to side using the data comparison tool and as you can see here we have it enabled for our on the side under applications and to do that, we'll just go into data comparison tool and make sure that is enabled as well. Right over here. And we'll go ahead and show that in a second as well. Uh, let's just say RedCap over here is assigned as person number one or data entry person number one. Let's go ahead and save changes. And our administrator here is um, our, also our reviewer, which is Shippy. Okay, save changes. And since we only have two users logged in at the moment, we'll just um, use RedCap as a data entry person one and two, just to show uh, how how it works out. Okay, let's say we enter record status for record um, 62. Since that is a new record and uh, it's not a record that's already been created. All right, and that will be under Add and Edit Records. All right, let's put today, let's just do a couple examples. Okay, let's look at our record status dashboard as the reviewer, Shippy how that would look for a double data entry. Let's see. And as you notice, we created record 62 and it'll mark as 62-1, whatever your record ID is, is, which in this case is 62. And dash one is just to show that that is reviewer one, or I mean, not reviewer one, excuse me. Uh, it is data entry person one. And to Go ahead and enter data for data entry person two. Let's just go ahead and show a quick example of RedCap being 
data entry person too as well. But as you can see, under our record status dashboard for data entry person one, they will only be able to see records that they have they themselves have entered. Okay, let's go into our user rights again and just assign a user to. And just for a quick reference, we'll go ahead and use RedCap again. And as you can see, now that RedCap is assigned as a data entry person too, they cannot see the records that have been entered. And let's go ahead and enter a separate record for that as well. Just say comments, merge these. Okay, and as the reviewer, we can check the responses between uh, data entry person one and two by looking at our data comparison tool. And again, to enable the data comparison tool for your, the reviewer, it would be under user rights in that other privileges section. Okay, let's go ahead and click on data comparison tool just to take a look at that. And as you can see, other, other fields are merged except for 61 and record 61 and 62. Go ahead and look at 62. You can either have the option of compare the selected record or compare all records. And let's go ahead and take a look at both. Well, let's look at compare selected record for now. And basically, you can decide to merge them. And you see the instruction if you wish to merge the selected values from the two records below, uh, it will show the um, record and the values that were entered for data entry person one and data entry person two. And as you saw, I clicked on um, date for person one and non-compliance for uh, data entry one. And data entry two shows merge these fields, email, email.com. And as the reviewer, we can decide to merge them or um, decide not to merge them. Now let's just say we decide to merge them. Oh, and before I do merge them, let's go ahead and take a look at the records again, just to see what it looks like from the reviewer's point of view. All right, as you see, 62-1 and 62-2. Okay, let's decide to merge them since they don't have any overlapping uh, data, if that's what we want for our project. Okay, and it'll, it'll not be merged, but it'll ask you another confirmation of what exactly would you like to merge, and it'll give you a um, radio button feature to either choose the values of either data entry person one and two, and and by default, it'll show only one record, but you can choose to merge different fields. Let's say we would like comments from data entry person two and the email from uh, data entry person two. Or we can decide to enter our own values if for some reason, any reason, we need to enter um, values that do not um, match with um, data entry person one or two. And for now, let's just say data entry person one's entering dates and um, withdrawal reasons, while data entry person two, for some reasons, entering comments and email. Let's just put that as the scenario. Let's go ahead and merge the records. Okay, record 62 has been created. Let's go ahead and quickly look at our record 62 
And then the merged records will not be in 62-1 or 62-2. That will be uh, independent for the reviewers to look at. Uh, for As a reviewer, you can look in 62, that, which is our merged records. Oh, as you can see, views are merged. Okay, let's go ahead and look at record status dashboard again. And we can just label that as complete for now. Okay, if there's any questions so far, feel free to throw them up. Okay, moving on. Let's go into our next question. Well, in a project using double data entry module, can I make changes to one of the merged records? Well, um, the thing is, it can only be merged once. Well, for example, as you saw, 62-1 um, and 62-2 will merge to create 62, record 62. Um, after merging, the user in the um, data entry slot can still make changes, but only to their uh, designated spot. So let's go ahead and check what our user rights are. And as you can see, RedCap is still assigned as data person 2, so they can only see um, records for 62, or the dash 2, dash dash 2, which is um, dedicated only for reviewer 2. And the person in uh, data, um, the data person one can make changes only to um, data um, in dash one. Okay, and um, another question would be, as a reviewer, why do I already see um, a merge or record? And the reason behind that, and let's go ahead and take a, do a visual of that as well. Say, for example, I have record five is already created, but I've enab enabled the double data entry after the fact that it was already created. You cannot go back to use double data entry for records that have already been created. And it'll be listed as merged uh, despite having two data entry individuals to enter that data. And let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, let's say add an edit uh, our data entry two person add an edit add an edit records for record five. Since that did not have any um, double data entry involved, let's do it quickly. Okay, let's go ahead and reassign our red cap individual for our data entry person to so person one as. Alright, let's just say please merge, but it'll... Alright, as the reviewer, let's go ahead and look at our data comparison tool again. And as you can see in 5, it already listed as merged, and even if you try to merge the um, information that uh, will not merge, you will have to do it. Well, um, you can still enter data manually, but uh, it will not merge. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and as you can see, the option to merge is gone. It used to be after this sentence right here. And it's already merged because it's already a record that's already been uh, created and populated. But as a reviewer, you can still see like the information that's been entered. For example, entry person one entered Please merge and entry person two into that, but you cannot have the option to merge that data because it can only merge once, and it has the uh, status of merged as well. 
But if you, ever you need to enter said data, it's, it'll still allow you to click on it, but it won't allow you to merge. Like say I click in this empty spot to just add like a comment or something as a reviewer. Yeah, and as you can see, the, there's no merge data at all, but you can still see the record um, that um, before the data ent entry individuals uh, entered any data. All right, and our final question to look at is, as a double data entry reviewer, uh, how can I make sure the data entry personnel do not modify their records after I create a final merge record? And for that option, we would go into user rights to enable the lock and unlock records for reviewers right here. And let's go ahead and take a look at that. And for reviewer, let's go ahead and enable record locking customization. Locking and unlocking Whoops, signatures. All right. And let's go ahead and take a look at, say we were to lock This is for entry, data entry person one. Yep, and as you can see, uh, the form will be locked until um, the reviewer or the any the individual with locking and unlocking privileges uh, unlocks the record at the bottom of the page. Okay, and and to do this, um, um, more, the reason to do this is um, uh, just to, um, verify any data um, from one side. If just in case there's like no communication going on, um, just to have it locked when a reviewer is away or is, um, not able to see any of the. Um, information that's available. Okay. All right. Yep, and for example, um, the data entry personnel with um, that right will not be able to make updates to the lock record and they would have to first contact the reviewer if for some reason um, that data needs to be um, verified with the reviewer first. Would be the better explanation. Okay, and that pretty much covers that for double data entry. And again, if there's any reason to um, have data, data entry to your form, whether for quality uh, data collection or comparing records between um, two double data entry personnel and have an extra reviewer to take a look at those copies and merge them, um, feel free to send out a request in uh, to your RedCap administrator, uh, which would be in that again in that link below for RedCap administrator under help and information, and be sure to mention your project name. And that pretty much covers it for double data entry. Thanks for tuning in, and.